Uh, I think I still have to win a few more championships to have that status, but that's just me. Maybe because you've never raced me. Definitely not me last season. As a, as a kid, I played like hundreds and hundreds of hours of Pokemon Fire Red and I always chose Charmander and then obviously it evolves to Charizard so I'm going Charizard. My plan is to improve one lap pace, just drive faster. I think it comes down to the same for everyone. You just have to analyze, see where you're losing time, see where you can get better, feel where you can drive better, and then go from there. Uh, and when it comes down to the real life experience, in some ways it did help me. In some ways it can also be a bit of a burden because it's hard to not be looking back all the time at how things work in real life and actually focus on just getting faster. I think eSports, you need to be very fast in one lap pace. So you just need to learn to hot lap, um, do hours and hours of practice in time trial, get up to pace and then go from there. Because you need to skill first before you can start applying it into the races as well. And then yeah, go from there, see what others are doing. If you're once up to pace in races and strategy and analyze that very well as well, of course. What does the front of Jake Benham's car look like? I'm not sure because usually I'm really far ahead of that. Uh, it is not true that I live at the Zandvoort track. I don't see myself going back to Formula cars ever again because I think at some point you get too old to go back. And not to mention the sponsor budget is just not possible I feel like for me to get. I would love to go back to Formula 3 or Formula 2, but realistically seen, I've got my job in eSports now um, and I want to keep it that way, of course. What are my thoughts on Australia? I think uh, if I speak, I'm in big trouble. If I speak, I am in, in big trouble and I don't want to be in big trouble. I think no one is, is as good as Binham at winning it like Binham. I'll probably go with the W11. I think most people would say that. It's up there with the fastest, best F1 car in history. Most dominant. Just the fastest year of F1 cars in general, so yeah. A very hard question because as a kid, I always played Pokemon on my Game Boy. And then as I grew older, PlayStations. It's hard to say, but I don't think uh, I've gone without playing a game for more than two weeks since I'm like four years old. I don't know, it's hard to say. Pizza or burgers? Pizzas, without pineapple. I would definitely go for oversteer over understeer. I think there's this famous saying that says, um, the passenger gets scared when the car starts oversteering and the driver gets scared when the car starts understeering. Because I think once you get understeer, you're limited by the car capabilities. If you get oversteer, then you're limited by driver capabilities. My favorite F1 game uh, will be F1 2020. Do my arms hurt when I drive in my sim rig? Arms not, sometimes my shoulder if I drive for long hours, but not my arms. No, Daniel, you cannot have my sim rig for free. Rarely, very rarely. My favorite Netflix series. It's a very tough one. I liked The Hundred a lot. I liked Lucifer a lot. Peaky Blinders was a really good one as well. Yeah, I think those will be my top three for sure. I think I would definitely have to do some cardio first again before I get into it. I would have to get used to the speed again. I think that's, that's the biggest worry in the beginning. I think skill-wise, I will definitely get within a second of the real drivers and after enough time, definitely closer. But of course, it depends how much time I get in the car. But yeah, I can definitely drive a real F1 car. 
what is ideal to me? Um, getting pole position and winning every race with the fastest lap of a wall F1 eSports season. Um, I'm not sure they have um, created a number for that yet. If I have to choose Xbox or PlayStation, PlayStation every day of the week, easily. How do I get such a nice hairline? Well, currently my trim is, um, is clapped. Let's keep it that way. How do I get a girlfriend whilst being an eSports driver? I've just got unlimited risk. It's actually a pattern, like it's the, it goes from top left to bottom to all the way to the right and then up again, it's really simple. Might have to change it after this. I like the Black Series AMG. I'm going with the Black Series. That's, uh, I drove with someone in that and it was crazy uh, how much grip it has, how much power it has. Do I shower? It's um, been a couple of weeks, but I will soon again. Have I driven the actual Mercedes F1 sim? I have. I think at the end of the day it, it does come close to, um, or the basics are similar to uh, something like R-Factor or um, iRacing. It has have similarities, of course. It is different. Uh, you're just gonna have to adapt again. Um, but yeah, I'm uh, just as fast, if not faster than uh, people who drive every day on it. So. I have not beaten Sub Vettel because I binned it into a snowbank, so there were not great emotions. Mm -hmm.